Its school contains 500 students in years 7 to 11, 250 in years 12 to 13. A random sample of 20 students is selected to represent the school as the parents' evening. The number of students in the sample who are from years 12 and 13 is denoted by x. State a suitable binomial model for x. So x is going to follow a binomial distribution. We're, doing, we're taking a sample of 20 students, so there's going to be 20 trials, and then the probability of success is going to be um, the probability of, of picking at random a year 12 or 13. So the proportion is of uh, year 12 and 13 is 250 over 750, the total number, and that cancels down to a third, which gives us our answer. So using this model, write down an expression for f of x equals x, not just a number, but a general formula. Now you are actually given this in the formula book, so you can get away with just uh, just subbing in for your n. So we're going to get n, which is 20, choose x. P is then the probability of success. That's going to be a third to the x times 1 minus p, which is 2 thirds to the um, n minus x, so that's 20 minus x. You could write it instead as 20 choose x, or even 20 factorial over x factorial, 20 minus x factorial, or these all mean the same thing. Um, I'm just going to talk about where this comes from, because sometimes I find that people don't know, they just kind of, you know, they learn it maybe, or maybe they don't, and then forget. So going to look at a more simple example. Let's say that x was equal to, I'm not going to use my calculator, but let's say x was equal to 3. Now if x was equal to 3, then I want to get 3 successes and 2 failures somehow. Now if I get it in exactly that order, I would times the probability of success together three times. That's where a third to the power of three comes from, which is similar to where a third to the power of x comes from. And basically, if you, you know, if you happen with your tree diagram, I'm basically going success, success, success along my tree diagram. And then I'd be going failure and failure to finish. And that then would be two thirds squared, which is where this has come from, because it's the remaining amount of failures, 20 minus whatever x is. But the thing is, we could start swapping them around. Maybe we could get success, success, failure, success, failure. That would be another way of getting three successes. So we have to somehow count them all up, and that's where the, the n choose r comes in. And essentially, without going into a lot of detail, there are five things that we're arranging, which means that it's five factorial ways of arranging a, b, c, d, e. But three of them are the same. So we have to think about if we swap them around or them around, it would, you'd get actually the same answer. So we need to divide by three factorial to account for swapping them around and then divide by two factorial to account for the Fs also swapping around the failures. And that is what five choose three actually is. And this more general one, 20 choose X is exactly the same. We're now arranging 20 objects, but there's X successes. So I need to divide by X factorial and there's 20 minus x failure, so I need to divide by 20 minus x factorial on that. It's a very quick explanation of what the formula is actually doing. Really powerful stuff, allows us to you know, work out the probability in any binomial distribution. So it's in set notation, the values of x for which your expression is valid. Now this seems quite simple if you know your set notation. Set of x such that x is between 0 and 20, because it can't be negative, it can't be more than 20. But there's actually a catch here. I've got to say, it actually caught me out. I just rushed this question. Um, but we have to have x as a whole number. So actually, it can't. we can't just say it's between 0 and 20 because it couldn't be 19.5, for example. So we need to say that x is an integer or even, a, oh no, not a counting number because then it can't equal 0. So it's got to be an integer such that 0 less than or equal to x. If you don't write that, you will not get the mark. You can say it in words if you want alongside, then you get away with it. Okay, you can just say that x must be a whole number, but technically that would be a way of doing it fully with set notation. And that's to work out this probability between five and nine. So I'm gonna there's 
different calculators that like these calculators can do it like straight away but i'm going to go with the class with calculator which only deals with less than or equal to so i'm going to be doing x less than or equal to nine so that would be zero up to nine now i want to have five up to nine so i need to minus the ones that i don't want so anything below five basically less than or equal to four and i can put that in my calculator now and you don't want to be using the formula because this is a less than or equal to there's lots of them being added together so i'm going to go to distribution binomial cd cumulative distribution and then i'll just use a variable that means one at a time nine 20 trials a third we get 0 0.908 and zero and then do exactly the same press equals take it back to four 0.1515 okay then subtract these i just i mean you can store them into the memory but i think just writing them in is absolutely fine i, I got 0 0.75659 when i did it round up to three six figs 0 0.757 Finally, D, it's a state one disadvantage of using a random sample in this context. Now, remember, there's different types of random sampling. There's, um, for example, stratified or systematic. But this question, because there's like a, basically everyone has a one third chance of being picked. Sorry, not the one. No, sorry. The year 12 to 13s have a one third chance of being picked. So you can kind of assume that we're doing a, a simple random sample because um, everyone has an equal chance of being picked, essentially. So. The problem with that is that you could just happen to pick loads of year sevens. Uh, there's nothing stopping that. Just through probability, it can happen. And if our answer is that we may get may get more than like loads more than of one group than another, or just may get incorrect proportions. Of different year groups. e.g. many year sevens. So that wouldn't be representative of the whole school, that's the point. This is the mark scheme, it says may include too many from one year and too few from another year. Some other things are accepted or given. Um, so yeah, something along those lines.